The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. When might you choose to use a polygon versus a point in Neatline? Polygons are great for delineating space, so enclosing an entire area that you want to note on your map or image. Points are great for highlighting specific locations, but they may not necessarily actually uh, highlight the boundaries of a location. The difference in Neatline between points and polygons has a lot to do with uh, the zoom and the level with which you are working. Notice right now that the polygon is much larger than the point. However, if I zoom out, my polygon starts to get smaller, but my point remains the same size until my polygon is much, much smaller than my point. If I were to zoom out to this level in Neatline, my users would not be able to see the polygon, but they would be able to see the point. If you are working on a much larger scale, you may choose to use points rather than polygons in Neatline. If you're working on a closer, uh, at a closer range to the areas that you are drawing within a polygon, you may prefer to use those polygons so that you can be much more clear about the space that you are delineating.